Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to City Skylines, where we're building a city meant to make people suffer, or at least inconvenience them in every way possible. And last time, we built this huge centralized highway roundabout, which will force all of the people in the city to come here if they want to end up going anywhere. So it both centralizes traffic and makes people sick. And us in the biz like to call that a wombo combo. And today, we're gonna be doing more of that, except with poop. But before we get into that, first, you guys had an amazing suggestion for what to actually call this. So at the end of the last episode, I called it the pit. No, 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 no. We're gonna call it the tornado of torment. Way better. Because as our city develops, we're gonna have highways going every which way from this thing. And it's gonna look crazy. Also, you guys had a great suggestion for what we should name the city. Sufferopolis. That's a mouthful. Try saying that three times fast. Exactly, you can't. Or at least it'd be very inconvenient, which is kind of the point. Anyway, moving on with today's stuff. We want to make this city a canal city. That's the big plan. We're gonna have canals full of poop literally everywhere. Let's make all the terrain flat so there's no accidental spillage rid of all the trees because they are too nice. And then we start building the canals, right next to our super suffer blocks, which are my little inventions to cause as much inconvenience as possible by charging people tolls everywhere they go, and also making life as unbearable as possible. So having these subdivided by a bunch of poop canals, I think just makes everything better. Okay, but here's the basics pretty much done. And we're gonna make each of the squares inside its own little city. This is kind of like the basic shape. I'll make it a little bit better and even in a moment. But yeah, each of these little block sections can be its own little city or area with its own horrifying gimmick. So I'm very excited to work on that all. But we need to fill this with poop. Where are we getting poop? Is there like a mountain around? It's a mountain over here. That's too far though. Mountain over here. Ooh, that's gonna be Perfect. So this will be the great poopy mountain where we'll store all of the sewage for it to all flow into the canals. Now we could just pump the sewage directly into the canals, but hey, this will give us a couple more options later on. Then it will just flow down this way. Hello highway, you're gonna have to not be here. Goodbye, then I'll deal with the rest of that later. And we have to have this come over this way. So the poop should fill up in here, jeez, and then go into here, but okay, hold up, hold up. Gibbs, Gibbs, Gibbs. This terrain needs to freaking chill. We don't want to have like multiple poop filled lakes. We just want to have like a little river coming down from the mountain. So that's gonna need a little bit of tidying up. Speaking of tidying things up, I don't know if we're gonna make enough poop here to fill all these canals. Like it'd be nice to have like an extra one going through here too, so we have more islands and options and yeah, that's gonna be a lot of poop. I don't know if our city can make that much poop. We're gonna have to open up a lot of like Taco Bells and stuff, but oh, we should probably plan a contingency thing. And I think we'll fill up the canals to start just with like the water over here, and then it will all get replaced with poop eventually. If we get rid of this, and use the water that's coming outside of the map, that spawns infinitely and it's free. So we could just direct that this way. <laughs> also, we could make the water above ground. Why? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling this could make for interesting memes in the future. We're gonna have like a water, water trough? Is that like the correct terminology? I think so. We'll have this inside here. Good. We'll just tidy this up a bit so we don't have a horrific amount of flooding. Okay. Hello, river. What's going on? Would you like to be gone? Because that's kind of what's happening. We're gonna do something like this. So the water will be forced over this way. Then we probably just want to have the canal going all the way to the end here. Turn off the controls so we can make that nice and straight. Pro. Wow, that is super unique. And I hate it. <laughs> Look, the city is meant to make people suffer, but this is making me suffer. Okay, general idea is fine. But this, that cannot exist anymore. Okay, that should be a lot better. Got rid of the canal for now but this should still work out just fine. The water level is basically the same here. A couple trees get run over, then the water comes over this way and fills up the canals. Highway was redone too, so now the highway goes underneath there. New intersections, more toll booths. 
bridges galore and straight lines as far as the eye can see. Oh yes, and I redid this a little bit just so it's a little bit more gritty and ready for the future because things are going to be happening here. And once this area floods, <laughs> I don't really want to delete the canals because then the water will uh, cause issues. Then again, we are flooding the canals with a bunch of poop, so hey. <laughs> There's going to be issues regardless, but the issues will pop up later. To get things rocking and rolling, let's start filling up this huge sewage pit. Because it's going to probably take like an hour or two for this to fill up with poop. At least so it can overflow into the rest of the city. Off that goes. And then how is this working? No floods? No problems. Little bit of flood? So that's okay. Is this actually gonna work though? Yes. The scary thing is there's infinite water pouring from outside the world and we're directing it over here. The canals will take a while to fill up, but then they could fill up and then overflow. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out for that too. Yeah, a lot of potential for problems today. Lots. Here comes the sippy drink. Good. That'll start filling up this huge grid. And then I have some exits for the water just over here. And probably I'll have something over this way too. I'm not sure how we're going to expand this system over here yet, but we'll figure it out. I just got to let this do its thing for a while. And then adjust as necessary when the poop volcano erupts. Yeah, but this is taking a lot longer than I thought. And I kind of want the water in so we can work on another city block here. Could we get more water? Yeah, there are three rivers. We could just get some more, right? We're not going to overflow this, probably. Let's just go over that way. We'll block that off. And everything's going to work out, yes? What if we... Wait, does it even matter if we block this off? Probably not. Let's just do it anyway. Goodbye. Now let's see a little bit more movement here, eh? Yeah? That's not gonna flood. No way that's gonna flood. It's totally flooding. Oh, okay. Well, what? I thought for sure it'd be fine. Oh gosh, it's flooding out of control. Okay, well, backup plan. You know that canal we're gonna add in? Yeah, it's happening. Come here. Uh, turn off guidelines. Chaos mod, activate. Don't look weird. Oh, splendid. The water just fell in perfectly. It didn't do that weird glitch thing, at least not super bad. And we're okay. Right? Yeah, the water level's going down. Ooh, I think we did it. And not even any casualties. Yeah, the vehicles are fine. This is fine. I can't believe how well that went. That could have been drastically bad. Well, still might be when this tidal wave arrives. Nah, we good. Just fill it up this a little bit faster. Gives the farmland over here a little bit of extra water. Yeah, good idea. Where's the poop at? Oh, we are not getting any poop over here for a while. Okay, well this is filling up a lot faster, so let's start designing our new city block. We're gonna make a super suffa block type design, where we have all the vehicles come in through a highway, go into a roundabout, and then if they ever want to go anywhere, they have to go through the toll booths. And I'll probably rebuild the path system as well. It's making us a lot of money. In fact, it's probably making us literally all of our money. So I went ahead and added in all of the highway infrastructure we should need here. <laughs> It's a little crazy and wonky, but it gets the job done. So all the people go into here, go through a toll booth, then we'll have some kind of zone here. Then if they want to go to this next zone, which will probably be shopping, we'll have to go through another toll booth, and then we'll finally have some residential or something at the end. Lots to do, lots to do. Couple things, I want to connect these suffer blocks together. Probably just with a walking path, not with roads. But that might change. Got a super busy bridge over here, so how about you guys just scoot over this way, hmm? Thoughts? Sound like a good idea? Probably not, but we're gonna do it anyway. So we'll do something like that, and the people can walk over to the residential, and we'll have all of the extra parks <laughs> forcing people to pay if they want to walk to work. Now, road layout-wise, usually like how I've been building the suffer blocks, is we have one designated place for citizens, the middle is like shopping, and then the other side is industry. So the industry and the city people are not close together, and the shops are still close to everything. So it's actually kind of a good city design, but then I just go out of my way to make things as inconvenient as humanly possible. I fiddled around with the road layout a little bit just to make sure there shouldn't be like an emergency, but because all the vehicles in this block should only go to this block, traffic should never get too out of hand. Though, I may have made a mistake by actually connecting the two blocks here together. Yeah, you know, it 
probably will come back to bite me, but we're gonna try it out. It's right there. This toll booth can make so much money, at least once the city is built. So we're gonna try it. Wait a second. If we even have people to make money off of, why is everybody dead? Could you guys not be dead? Trash problems? Oh, crime? How bad's the crime? 25%? One out of four people are criminals in this city? But why? Wait a second. Do criminals still pay the tolls? They better pay the tolls or I'm gonna be mad. I guess that's something I'm gonna have to look up. Regardless, we will continue with our expansion. We have 10 million dollars to spend. Let's have some fun. First, this is all just gonna be residential. People will just live here and vibe. We'll have this side of the street as well be residential. That's pretty chill. Uh, this area, I have some special plans for. We're gonna include a university, because we need a couple smart people here and there. And we're gonna need some trash dealios here too. So let's build our dumpster, the landfill site, right next to the university. Beautiful. That's kind of one of our low-key rules with our playthrough. We only want to use landfills to collect trash. But since the university is something special, we gotta make it smell bad too. So just this once, we're gonna make some incineration plants right next door. Gots to do it. And then it can smell like both trash and burning trash at the same time. It's genius. No, wait! Coal power plants! Yeah, buddy. There we go. Lovely. Who doesn't want to learn here? Gonna produce the brightest minds in the world. Okay. The rest of this, though, I'm not sure exactly what to do with. We'll revisit it later. In the center area, we're gonna have to have a, like a mixed zone type thing going on. So part of it will be industry. We're gonna need some offices for the smart people. So I guess they'll work over here. And then we'll have shopping up near the front. Then we need more schools. Do we have any schools? A high school? A modern high school? Well, you better believe we're putting that there. And then we need an elementary school. That's just... Uh, I'd rather put this near the factories and stuff, but it fits so well here. I can't not. It fits too well, okay? I can't. I have to do it. I gots to. Finally, there gotta be some services, because people can't suffer if they're no longer with us. So do that. We'll just have a body dumpster there, and I suppose a little medical place here. That should make everybody happy. Let's make one more fire station though. That's good. How's this all looking? Pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Let's actually make a little bit more room for offices because we might have a decent inflow of smarty pants with the university now. That should be good. Add in some more stuff over here and up over there. Okay, let her rip. City, come to life. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Too bad they have nothing to drink. Let's go to the river. It's clean right now. We'll be fine. Okay, there we go. And power, it'll just jump the river itself, right? No, nope, I brought it in already. Smart man, Mr. Kibbs. You did the thing. And now your reward is a brand new city. Look at that, a new bustling society. And money went up too. Almost 100,000 per week? Honestly, a little shocked. I thought uh, there would be problems. Also, having this bridge here didn't cause any problems either. Traffic's looking good. Uh, all the dead people are just gone. And what just happened to the crime? Went all the way down to 11%. That's huge. Now only one out of 10 people is a criminal. We're such a great mayor. And look at all the people walking. That's actually really cool. All of them going to the park, pretty much. To spend all of their money on tolls and get to work. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, well this will all kind of do its thing. Next up, we want the fairies. We want them. Where's the poop at? Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Soon. I'm sure we can do a little bit of prep work though. Let's try it. So, we need a fairy depot, number one. And can we place that just here? Roads. In my way? Goodbye. Put that right there. And then fairy stomps. You might be a little confused. Kibbs, why are you giving them public transport options? Well, you see, they'll have a choice. Either the people 
can use the poop ferry or they can pay like two days worth of wages walking to work. It was all a gigantic ploy to force people to use the poop ferries. Because in the last city we built, no one used them. And I was mad. So now I get my revenge. Now everybody must enjoy the fecal fairies. Hopefully the water level is high enough for the fairies to scoot. It do be excellent. A quick look at the budget panel. Let's make transport way high. Taxes, we could raise those a bit. And then before too many people use these, let's increase the ticket prices. Yes, of course. Also for-profit education, always. All right, good. Luckily there's enough water, people are Pouring in, oh my gosh, a lot of people are pouring in to use this. Sheesh, this is popular. Same with over here. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I knew it would be like pretty popular, but this is insane. Like extremely. How many people can go on a ferry? F 50 people on a ferry, per ferry, 50. That's it? That's like, I, no way do only 50 people fit on a ferry there. That's insane. A bus can hold 20 people. You know what? Whatever, dude. Whatever, video game. I might fix that with a mod, to be honest. We'll see. Anyway, for now, let's let people enjoy the waterfront now that we have the fairies in. And then, I think it's about time for the poop wave. But oh, our revenue. It went down to 60,000. It is the price to pay. Force people to the poop fairies and then they don't walk. Yeah. I yeah, no, it's worth it. What's the point of money if you don't use it? And then how is the poop volcano? Ooh, just in time to catch it overflowing. Good, get rid of the pristine water here. It's time to pollute. Oh yeah, it starts as a trickle, but soon it will be a horrific flood. Go, go, pollution. Poison the water supply. Corrupt the city. Shroud it in darkness. And in no time, things are starting to look pretty bad. But in multiple ways. I didn't really realize this, but the poop is only gonna flow kind of like over in this direction and not hit all of the blocks, which is unfortunate. So I guess in certain areas, we're gonna just have to include our own little dumpsters, like here. Just include like, I don't know, three on each side. That should pollute the city at least a little bit. Or you know what can really fix things? Just adding in more poop and overloading the system drastically. Yes, we're gonna do that. So we have like a hundred of these things dumping poop into the system and do you better believe that's gonna be very crazy over there. Also just added in a small little town here just to enjoy the show. Speaking of, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode because that is going to be all for now. So have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.